am going to uh, show you how to hang some secondary fluids. Very first thing before I even come in the room, I'm gonna double check my order um, and make sure I have the right medication. Uh, and uh, it usually will come up from pharmacy already mixed in a bag like this. It may have a covering, um, but uh, again, just like with the primary fluids, I'm gonna take a look at the bag, make sure it's not expired. It should have the patient's name uh, and all the medication information on the bag. I'm just using a generic uh, normal saline bag, but in, in the clinical setting, you're, you're gonna check that label and make sure everything is correct on there. So I have my medication. I'm gonna also grab a secondary set, which is a little bit different than our primary set. It's, it, it has a lot shorter uh, tubing. And then it also has a hook that's included that I'll, I'll show you how we're gonna use that in a second here. I'm also gonna grab my uh, other label for how often this tubing needs to be changed. One thing too, if my patient has fluids running, I have to make sure these are compatible. Sometimes the fluid that's running is not compatible with the medication I'm gonna give. Some things need to be given with LR, some things need to be given with saline. Um, so that is a very important check that can cause harm to our patient if we don't um, check our compatibility. So, so we're gonna make sure that those two are compatible to be run together. Uh, come into my room, uh, do hand hygiene, introduce myself to my patient. Um, I'm gonna also check the site, to make sure it's flowing okay, if they have primary fluids running, everything looks good here. Um, no signs or symptoms of infiltration or phlebitis. Um, I am gonna close my, my roller clamp here uh, when I attach this. So I'm, for my exam, I'm gonna make sure that's closed. Let me open this up and I'm gonna show you a couple things in here. Um, and there are actually, there's actually two methods to priming this tubing. I'm gonna show you what's called the back priming method. That's the preferred method, so we don't um, waste any medication. Um, but you'll see here, I have this little hook that uh, we're gonna hook our, uh, our primary fluids to. I'm just gonna put that there for now. And then you'll see that this is um, much shorter than our primary line, but it still has a roller clamp and a slide clamp, and, and this looks the same. We need to have space in that drip chamber so that we can count our drips. All right, so same thing. I'm gonna close my clamp here. I'm gonna teach you the back priming method. Um, I do need an alcohol wipe, uh, and I have my label here. In fact, I'm gonna label it right now. Before I forget, you can do it, you know, before you finish your scale. It just needs to be on there at some point. Um, but this is the, I'm gonna go into the port that's closest to my bag here. You'll notice there's another port down here. Um, we're not gonna go in that port, we're gonna go in this port. Uh, the one furthest away from, from the patient. So here's my medication. This is actually an injection port right here. Um, this is the port I'm gonna spike here. So again, I'm gonna keep these tips clean. I'm gonna pop that off, pop that off. And again, I'm gonna make sure I don't go through the side of our bag. Okay. Okay, so you'll notice my line is closed, so nothing is flowing, right? Um, so uh, I'm, I'm gonna fill this halfway with fluid. Um, but then I'm actually gonna connect it to my port here. So I do need my alcohol swab. I don't need to flush this. Um, it's already been running and, and we don't flush from this port. Uh, but, and then I'm gonna pop my tap off, a uh, cap off. I'm gonna keep those tips clean. Don't let them touch anything. Okay, so now I'm ready to back prime. So again, this line, the, I don't know if you can see this, this is the main primary line clamp. It is closed. This is closed. But now I'm gonna open this up and I'm actually gonna drop it down lower so that, and it happens pretty quickly, um, the, the saline runs from here up into my drip chamber. And once my drip chamber starts rising, I know that this line is, is primed, if that makes sense. So you just need to hold it lower and it flows right back up into here. And now I've not lost any of my medication. It's all still in my bag. Okay, so again, all my lines are clamped. Um, now uh, we're gonna play with gravity for a little bit. So 
uh, we don't want this running, we want this running. They don't run at the same time, um, but this needs to be lower than this bag because gravity is gonna pull whatever bag is higher than, um, than the other. So I'm actually gonna take my primary fluids and drop them like that. And then my medication is gonna go up here. This one hasn't been hung before, so I'm gonna try to hang that there. All right, so this is lower than this. Um, and then here's, here's, sometimes students get confused with this. So we're actually gonna open this all the way, but it shouldn't still be dripping because this is still closed and we're gonna control the drip rate from the primary line. We're not gonna adjust it from the secondary line. Um, so when you gradually open this up, you should not see any drips from this chamber here. You, but you'll see drips from this chamber here. So once this is all done, it, then it will start flowing at the rate, um, whatever you've set it at from the primary line. So you'll wanna make sure you're in here again when this is run out so that you can readjust the rate to the correct rate for the primary line. Um, and that is how you hang secondary fluids.